hello everybody welcome back to my channel today I have a recipe for you it's a stewed chicken with cashews so let's go ahead and get to the recipe so I have already prepared my mains I season it with a piece I will leave a link in the description box below to see how to make a piece so I go ahead and added um, a chicken maggie cube and I'm adding some olive oil about three to four tablespoons of olive oil I'm using fowl chicken it's the tough one the one with the tough meat but um, I wouldn't suggest the other one because it's way too soft you gotta use that one for this recipe and this is about a tablespoon of freshly ground black pepper and a bonnet scotch pepper if you like spicy and some cloves if you don't want to put the cloves if you don't want to dump the cloves in it like that you can just put um stick them in the pepper so that way they're not lost and don't bite on the accident so I'm gonna go ahead and add some bay leaves of course you can never go wrong with bay leaves and this is my favorite chicken seasoning as you know all-purpose chicken seasoning I got from BJ's about a tablespoon of that so what I'm doing now the heat is on it's on medium-low so this is a thing that they call it sway in Haiti it's like a sway Vienna I don't know how to call it the little chance that he's sweating it's sweat so that's what I'm doing before I add water to it okay so that's one thing we do back home I don't know if you guys some of you know about that but yeah Anyways, sweating the meat. <laughs> so that's that's the literal translate. So yeah, so this is what I'm doing with it now. It's on medium low. So when I, after I've done that for about five to ten minutes, you do that. You sweat the meat. I don't know. Listen, this is this is how I can explain it. After you do that for about five to ten minutes, you go ahead and add water to it. So this chicken will take a little bit longer to cook. So you're gonna keep adding water every time it dries up you keep adding water so it will take about a, an hour to an hour and a half for it to cook and you gotta like taste it because it will it will look like it needs a little bit more time but it's probably done so taste it to see if the meat is soft and then it's good so it will take about an hour an hour and a half to fully cook So when it comes to cooking you guys it's really especially Haitian food that I'm I know about it's really difficult to give you an exact measurement because it's just like this dish for example the meat is a tough meat you're gonna use a lot of water and it depends on the amount of meat you're using and all that so you're gonna need a lot of water so you know I can't really tell you how much water I added so every time it dried up I added more water I kept adding water until it's fully cooked it took about an hour an hour and a half for it to be fully cooked so this is it cooked it's almost ready so I'm gonna go ahead and add about 16 ounces of more water to it for the final cook now after this after 30 minutes it will be done it will be fully cooked I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up add the other stuff and then it will be all ready so I wanted to say one thing um, this dish is like a, it's a dish that not a lot of people are familiar with it depends on where you're from in Haiti if you from um, Cap Haitien or Cap you'll know about it. Monocap tend to, um, people from Monocap tend to put cashews in their food a lot and also um, la bape. I forgot what it's called in English but anyways. So yeah, a lot of people don't know about it. Like I said, people from different regions of Haiti cook differently. Anyways, so I'm going to add my cashews right now to cook with the meat, the poultry, the chicken. Anyways, so this is raw cashews straight from Haiti. You may use any type of cashews. Well, it has to be raw cashews. 
it doesn't matter where it's from whether it's from Canada whether it's from Senegal or just here in the US as long as it's raw cashews so now that my cashews have cooked for about five minutes I'm gonna go ahead and add some tomato paste for color you don't have to add tomato paste just give it color it's all up to you but I like the tomato paste in it so you're gonna go ahead and stir it a little bit So this water you're adding is the final, the last time you're adding water to this dish. It's just for the sauce, for the gravy. So you know, I added about 4 cups of water. So now I'm going to add some more seasonings to it. Because you know, after adding all that water, you need a little bit more seasoning. So I'm adding 2 tablespoons of that chicken beyond cube and some sour orange juice. Or you may use lime juice or lemon juice if you have that. And some lily butter. I love lily butter. And if I'm making a Haitian dish, I gotta use lily butter. It's just, mm -mm, it has to be lily butter. Or no butter. So that's about three tablespoons of lily butter. You know, just the extra fat. I love extra fat. Ooh, yes. So this is the dish. It's almost done. So, well, it's pretty much done. So after I added the lily butter, I let it boil for about 5 to 10 minutes, you know, just so it thickens up a little bit. And listen, if you have not subscribed, you probably should not because so you can get so you can know when I upload new videos because it's, it's just a show of support. Anyway, so my dish is done. So I'm adding a little bit of onions, not too much. I didn't want to put too much because, you know, the the star of the dish is really the cashews. So that's why I didn't put, you know, peppers and all that stuff. That's why I just put a little bit of onion, just you know, for a little bit of flavor, not too much. Anyway, this is the final product, you guys. It tasted amazing. I ate this with um, rice and peas, and it was so bomb. Oh my god, yes. And two, oh my god. I hope you guys try this, and please let me know if you like it. If you're allergic to cashews, do not try it. Okay. If you're not, then go ahead and try it. Let me know how it tastes. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching.